channel. Um, today is going to do a very quick one. Um, this is what I have here is actually a few units of a converter or you can also call it an inverter. Yeah, always, always depend uh, how you do it. But this is going to be a DC to DC either convert uh, from higher voltage to lower voltage or from a lower voltage invert it to the higher uh, voltage. For instance, let's say if you have a 12V uh, battery bank or a 12V solar system in other words, uh, but somehow you may require to power uh, 48V devices. So in this word, it's going to be a 12V battery bank and then convert, sorry, it's going to be invert up to 48V. Those are called invert, DC to DC in, in, in inverter, yeah? So I have this, for example, this units. Uh, it's actually is the what we call uh, input is gonna be uh, 12V, 12V uh, input. It can come from your charge controller DC load or from direct from the battery bank. So that means input is 12V DC, but output is 48V. Yeah. Uh, people, especially in the telco communication, telco or the CCTV industry. Uh, you might need certain Wi-Fi router or this. Uh, basically, they can run on 24V. Yeah? Uh, but it's sometimes when you have multiple systems, like for example, one solar system, you need to power maybe three devices. Yeah? Maybe one of the device is uh, 12V and another device is 24V, another third device is going to be 48V. Come to this kind of circumstances, uh, last time when people do it, they always use an inverter, uh, an AC inverter and you know uh, from a DC convert to uh, invert to 240 VAC and then step it down and then go to the instrument so by doing so um, you will find out first first of all you need to buy a inverter and it's gonna be pricey and second thing is that you see the energy is actually is convert up and then convert down and then you know convert again so basically a few up and down conversion uh, then you have a, a lot of uh, power loss uh, in these kind of circumstances. So the best thing to do is right now is actually is let's say you have a 12V battery bank. Uh, you have three devices. One is 12V. Of course, the no, 12V is easier to set up. Basically, you connect directly to the charge controller. Uh, let's say if you have another device is 48V. So the input here again is either from the controller uh, or directly from the battery, and then this guy will step up to 40, uh, 48V. Yeah. And let's say the third device is 24V, uh, we have another small one. This one actually is uh, 12V to uh, 24V. Yeah? So this is what we call it the uh, inversion, yeah? DC, uh, DC to DC inversion. Yeah? In other words, it's like an inverter, but this inverter is not uh, AC, it's DC. Yeah? Uh, but sometimes you also come across, uh, let's say the solar system get very big, um, it's no point to, you know, uh, to use a 12V battery bank. Like for example, you have a solar system, let's say it's uh, 1000 watt or 2000 uh, watt, basically it's 1 to 2, uh, 2 kilowatt. And it's no point to keep a 12V uh, battery bank, it's because the MPPT controller use is going to be very huge. So that's the reason that uh, you want to save some money. So normally we'll try to use our best to use a 24V uh, battery bank. Yeah? But of course, when you use a 24V battery bank, uh, let's say you want to use a 12V devices, uh, then it's not possible. Yeah? But a lot of these days, you will see that there's a lot of appliances actually run on 12V. Yeah? For instance, LED light, uh, CCTV, yeah? uh, you know, a lot of good devices, even the uh, certain uh, tablet, PC or this, they do some uh, run on uh, 12V. So uh, let's say if your battery bank is 24V, then you have a problem. So this one is called conversion. Yeah. So this guy is basically what is the input is uh, 24V uh, DC and then uh, convert down to 12V. Yeah? So the output is 12V DC, then you straight away you can uh, power uh, 12V devices. Yeah. So 24V battery bank, input, 24V, direct current, output uh, is 12V, yeah? Okay, that uh, same as well as this guy, uh, same thing, uh, input, 12V, uh, 
this one is step up, sorry, this is like this guy, yeah. Um, sometimes, uh, these days I would say that um, we do have a lot of devices uh, that is using uh, USB, okay, like this guy. Uh, USB, if you guys understand, is basically run on 5 uh, VDC, alright, 5 VDC. Uh, let's say if you use to charge your handphone, uh, it can range from 0.5A to 2A. I, I, I believe some uh, bigger uh, smartphone, those are really big uh, power hunger smartphone, they, sometimes they can even charge at 2A. Yeah? But of course, uh, time uh, going to the future, I would say that the A is getting bigger. Yeah? Uh, like for example, tablet or this, uh, they can charge it at the higher A. Yeah? Uh, what I'm trying to say here actually is basically uh, time to come you will see a lot of uh, device uh, not just smartphone, GPS or you know a lot of device, tablet, uh, even that LED light, LED fans, uh, sorry fans, uh, some DC fan uh, they actually power with uh, USB so I would say that USB is 5 VDC, it's going to be stay here and it's going to be you even more, so it will get uh, more popular. For us, uh, we believe this is the thing that uh, is most required. Okay, What is this guy do basically is the output uh, is uh, USB, yeah? so basically the output is 5 VDC, uh, the input uh, is 12V. So basically this one you can connect directly to your charge controller or you want to connect to a battery or you want to connect to a solar panel. I will talk about the solar panel later. Uh, let's talk about, uh, let's say directly from your charge controller. So let's say if you have a 12V battery bank, your charge controller will give you about uh, 12 uh, VDC output. Uh, this is going to be your input. Input is 12V and the output is uh, 5 BDC yeah? uh, with this you basically can you know, plug in your smartphone or USB uh, you can power or charge uh, all kind of instrument yeah? the one that we have, uh, the one that we carry um, we also design a sense uh, we make the input voltage is higher than 12V basically uh, this device allows you to you know, have higher input voltage such as 18V, yeah? 18V DC. Why the reason we're doing that is because uh, you can directly plug in a solar panel, a 12V solar panel. Okay, let's say you have a 18V solar panel. What you do is actually uh, you can add in a MC4 uh, connector, all right, and here. And then uh, this one you can plug into a solar panel, but of course uh, you must see what kind of solar panel to plug in. Uh, this guy with me actually is a 15 watt uh, system maximum, it's for 15 watt. So basically let's say if you have a solar panel uh, roughly about 15 watt or lower, uh, you can just plug into this guy and uh, it will give you, uh, it will step down and then go and charge a 5 VDC. Yeah? So, um, let's say you are doing outdoor activity, or you know, you can basically, uh, if, uh, for example, you have a flexible solar panel, or what you can do is just plug in this flexible solar panel and plug into your uh, mobile phone from here, and basically you can charge it. Yeah? So this is the so-called the uh, conversion, yeah. So today's video is actually is all about inversion, uh, conversion DC to DC, yeah. So if you have more question, um, you are welcome to uh, give us a call or drop us an email and uh, learn more about this, yeah. And uh, with this um, DC to DC conversion, I would say that uh, you can build a more efficient system. When your system are more efficient, uh, you use less battery bank, you leave less solar panel, and at the end of the day, you are gonna save a lot of money. All right? Thanks for watching.